Hello everybody, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners along with Bio by Gino. So double came down hitting first target. It's still technically in play. However, it gets above this 4,100 level. It's out of play then. New levels of bulls to the upside. Went through to 37.5% retracement. Now we stopped at the 25% retracement. These are the rotations between the gain levels, which is why we follow them. Now we can do a projection from this low to this high, giving us an intermediate level 41.46, the next level 41.97, so just 4,200. Then above that 42.37, those levels can be used for taking profits or for raising stops. Then if we were to get a close above 42.37, we'd be watching for 43.84. For return to the downside, we're getting the first cross rotation zone on the four hours. So that's the key level to watch for support. Uh, if we get below 39.45, then I'd watch for 3,900, where the, all these moving averages are clustered right now, and you're getting the separation of the rotation zone. So if it comes back down, then that would be a key area to watch for rotation back up. Now, if it closes below that rotation zone, then we'll start watching again for these targets below again on the sloppy double. Let's check in on the daily chart. Daily chart. So we never got the cross of the rotation zone against us. It's just gone flat. So nothing much to update based off the daily chart, except if we do get a strong rally again, watch the 50 period exponential daily moving average is right at the most recent highs. So keep an eye on that. That's going to be some significant resistance. Switch over to Ethereum. So these lows held for right now. Big strong rally up. Again, stopping at the 25% retracement, enabling us to our GAM projections up. So if we get a close above 143.42, we'll be watching for 147.35, then 150.80, and then return to the cluster of 153.50 to 154. So the key levels, again, they can be used for taking profits or raising stops. For this potential pullback, first level, really be watching is right at this prior resistance becoming support area, about 136. Then possibly returning to the rotation zone. We got the first cross rotation zone. Really focus in as the 8 EMA approaches the 133 level. That's going to be key to watch for. You'll get a mini cluster there to see if it can rotate back up, and then you'll be watching for return to the highs and those two levels. If that does not hold and we get a close below about 129.60, then be watching for a pullback probably to these prior lows and the 50 EMA. About 125.34 is what we'll be looking for. So let's check in on the daily chart. This is an important chart. You see the rotation zone did hold. So again, we come down to the bottom of the rotation zone, so closing above it, then a big explosive move off the bottom of the rotation zone, which you see a fair amount of times is why we use the rotation zone in our trading concepts. If we get through these intermediate levels, again, the real big cluster area is right in here, the 153 to 154. You can see that clearly. And then through that, I'd just be watching for a return to the most recent highs. We can also update the key levels. And I'm going to come to this, and we're going to do a reverse GAN box and see how that looks. So that's going to give us, one, if we get above these most recent highs, 169.40. Then next major cluster area is 173.50 to 175.30. To so we have for you on this Ethereum and Bitcoin update. We'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.